Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building machine learning use cases in Android. Today we are going to integrate the face detection library. It's going to be a very small, simple video. Just a reminder, if you are interested in just the full code, it is available in GitHub. And also if you are interested in learning Android using Kotlin, the new recommended programming language for Android app development, I have a very detailed course on my own YouTube channel. Please do check it out. All the links are in the description. So let's get started. Uh, in the last video, we were finally able to build the detection and we were also able to show it on top of the image. We are going to reuse this for face detection. That is why I thought I would cover it before. So let's go back to our project, go to build.gradle file. So this is the module build.gradle file. And likewise, what we had done for object detection, we will add a library for face detection, which would which would be implementation form.google.mlkit colon face detection and the version is 16.1.2 once you do that please click on sync now to sync your projects and the library should get integrated with your project So meanwhile, let's create our activity. So we are not going to create a new activity, just a Java class. So, so right click on this image package and new Java class and say face detection activity. Now this is also going to extend the image helper activity. And we are going to override two methods, the on create which calls the super one and run classification, which does not call the super one. So the library has in been integrated. Let's create our member variable for private face detector. Face detector. So let me just confirm. Yeah, so this is not the inbuilt face detector. So Android SDK itself has a face detector, but we are going to use the one which comes from MLKit. So the MLKit face detector, and uh, let me just copy the initialization code. So high accuracy detection. So we are not going to use the classification and landmark option because that is not relevant here. So we have put this performance mode as accurate. There is also a performance mode uh, fast which you can use when you are actually performing the face detection on videos or on a stream and we'll also enable tracking so if you are doing the same face detection on multiple images you can track the same face across images so here in the results we will get a tracking id as well as the detected rectangle so the next thing would be run classification so like always we need to create an input image so input image dot from bitmap and rotation degree we will just assume it to be zero now face detector dot process our input image and we are going to add the two listeners so on success listener and also the failure listener so in the failure we are just going to pin print the stack trace and let's put the semicolon in on success we are actually getting a list of faces and you can see so for every face face in faces so let's also add a check if the faces are empty so if faces is empty so get output text view dot set text no faces detected else we will iterate over the faces array so we are going to get two things from face so face dot if you do get bounding box and we are also going to use the tracking id the two things so we will just use it to create our box so box with label is equal to new box with label and the first thing is our 
face dot get bounding box and the next thing is face dot get tracking id so we we'll just make it a string and uh, then we will also have a list of box with label like before so boxes is equal to new array list and we'll just add it here and finally we are going to draw it boxes comma bitmap and that should actually plot all the faces so that is it for the code part now we again need to integrate with the main activity the layout and the manifest so let's go to main activity copy this method and change it to face detection so this is our face detection activity now let's go to the layout and copy the last button This would be our button 4 and we'll change the text as well as go to face detection and this would be below button 3. So it comes down. Okay, this is done. Now the final part is manifest. Adding one more activity. So face detection. Okay. So let's run the app. Okay, so now we have the go to face detection button. Let's go there, pick an image. Let's try with this one. Okay, nothing has happened. Something went wrong. Okay, so what it is saying is get pixels is not supported on the config hardware bitmap. So what it means is that the input image that we have supplied to face detection is not supported. We will have to change it. So if you remember in the uh, image helper activity, we had actually created a copy of the bitmap. So we are going to reuse that part. Uh, I believe that is the issue and uh, so let's create with this part so the config will change and instead of creating the input image from bitmap we will create it from output bitmap okay so let's run it again okay let's try it now yeah so you can see it works it was able to detect all the faces now let's try with one more image Okay, so you can see that almost I can see the number as 51, but maybe around 40 faces have been detected. So you can see if you know some Android basics and your app is set up properly, it's fairly easy to integrate these libraries. So in the next video, we will switch over to audio and we will see how audio classification works. See you there.